Hey guys, this is Lexi. I'm going to be doing a few basics of Star Trek Online. I have a few friends who play and had some questions on just a few basic things, kind of like your map, how to, where to find stuff. Um, first, we're going to bring up our arc. Um, then select the game you're looking for. We're looking for Star Trek Online. Hit play. Right here is where I had a friend going to the visit the gateway, um, and it was taking him somewhere completely different and timing out, and he couldn't actually get into the game. Um, if you're trying to actually go into the game, there's if there's a patch right where it was just checking, um, patch number will show up here with the percentage of how far it's gone. Once it's complete, you'll have a full ready bar, and this will change to engage. This is how you actually get into the game, not the gateway. I just remembered, um, this weekend is actually a bonus XP weekend, so it would be a great time to start a new character to help you level up faster. Um, it is only today, which is the 6th through Monday, March to the 10th. Alright, here is where if you have a character created, obviously you can select your character here to start playing like I do here. Um, if you are going to be creating a new one, up here will be your new character slots. Um, I will go ahead and kind of show a little bit of that. Okay, um, right here you start off first with Starfleet, Romulan, and Klingon, and in those you also have different species and races. Um, some ha only have one sex, the other have male and female. And then these that have the little coin with a Z on it, those are called Zen. That means you actually have to pay real money in order to purchase um, that type of character. Uh, along with the race, um, is your actual career, which could be tactical, science, or engineering, whichever you feel uh, you want to go into in the game. Then you have your appearance and your background, which is like a bio kind of thing that you can make if you're really super into role playing, like some people. Um, they actually want to make a whole little story for their character. Okay, um, 
whenever you're creating a character here, obviously female, male. I always play female. Um, you can select out of the ones that they've got here. The very last one that I uh, found out was Alien, and um, this one I found really cool. It's what my other one is. You can create a character from scratch, basically creating your own race. Um, and it allows you to have any appearance, mix and match, um, uh, however you want to create your character to look instead of having these set default. But uh, just for shiggles, we're going to pick, uh, let's see, Betazoid, Jorn, hmm. I don't really know. We'll do Vulcan. Here, obviously, gets into detail with customization of your character. If you want to spend time going into that, um, you're more than welcome to do so. Uh, I'm not going to for now, but this is where you can completely customize your character from the complexion to the portions of the body, to your um, costume, your uniform, everything. Um, if my character's on the other one all match their career color. Um, I know uh, Justin's, his, all the uniforms fairly match with the same color except for his to set him apart as captain. Okay, uh, at this part background you're going to put in, uh, captain name is going to be the character name that you choose and the formal name of first, middle, and last will be what will appear in game. And then of course your ship name will be the name of the first ship that you will be on and like I said earlier the biograph, biograph, biography uh, is also optional but it can kind of give a little personality to your character. Um, on this beginning part, uh, it'll take you through the whole tutorial, how to play. Um, I'm not going to take the time to go through the tutorial, but if you're starting out, it'd be a great place to start to kind of give you a grasp of how to move, how to use your camera, um, how to interact with people, take quests, things like that. The very general basic, basic stuff to playing um, any RPG game. Alright, the first initial things um, to find any help is obviously going to be your question mark. It'll take you to tips, um, account support, report bugs. Uh, if you have an issue and you want to talk to a GM or put in a ticket, um, you're going to be requesting GM help, which you can also access that on the account support page of the um, Star Wars Online webpage also. Cog button will be your options where you want to go for all your options. It says game menu. Right here, you can rearrange your HUD. Uh, everything that you can move is highlighted in green. 
you can click it, drag it. I do believe yep, you can resize the windows, however big, however small. Chat settings will be your uh, little chat window at the bottom left of your screen. You can set your colors for different, like your whispers and tells, your fleet, your different zones. Also, um, something that I had learned when I first started is some fleets will have their own private uh, chat channels and they can only be set uh, like with a password or invite only those to accept those will be under the chat configuration under channels if there is one here it will show up and you would hit join um, if you end up leaving that one you could just press leave but it will give you a warning saying if you were to leave just be sure that you aren't going to be trying to get back in because they are private The rest are pretty self-explanatory. Options is where you can change a lot of stuff on your HUD and um, gameplay. Interface scale will be where you can adjust how big your windows are. Um, I know some have had trouble where a lot of their windows were taking up their screen and they couldn't see the actual ships going by or whatever. Um, this would be to where you would set how big or how small. got you know, your audio, your voice chat, controller, uh, controls would be um, where you can choose to auto target things, um, your aiming, your auto attacks, a little bit of uh, your camera controls. Keybinds is where it's going to show uh, kind of like a quick reference to what all the actual keyboard keys um, are hotkeys for. You can also go back through and reset these to uh, what you want the key to be. If you want to change any of these, you would click it and assign it to the new key that you wish. You can also access that menu, the game menu, by hitting escape instead of always going to the mini map. I use a lot of hotkeys, so it kind of helped me a little bit faster. But there's two different ways you can go to the cog or you can hit escape. Next is the social, which is like your friends list, your team, um, find fleet, all of that you can find there. You can hit the little three person icon um, where it says social, or you can hit O. This takes you to find team, find fleet, team settings, friends, ignore, and search. Um, here it'll show your friends if they're online or if they're offline. You put little tags on them. That's my honey bunny. Uh, so, my number one. You can also invite them directly here for a team invite. You can add friends if you know their um, either character name or their character handle. So, for like say my other character, it would be Lex at Lex Luthora. Um, you would just type it in like that and then hit OK. It'll send a friend request. Find Fleet will be where you can see what fleets are recruiting and if they are casual, um, if they do PvE, PvP, if they're open, recruiting, yada yada. If they're German, 
or uh, where they might be if you want to join their fleet there is no like request to, to join button what you have to do is it will give the um, the name of the fleet master I do believe and you would just simply add them and send them a little tell um, asking if they're recruiting and maybe they will send you an invite Next would be your in-game mail. If you have any, it will be flashing green, like so. So I just found out that the mail actually um, covers across your whole account. So these are actually from my other character that are showing up here that I have kept. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can directly from here, you can create a message, but it will be text only. Um, what I did find out is if you are actually wanting to send an item, um, I think energy credits to, like if you want to attach anything to uh, a mail that you want to send, you actually have to do it from a mail box site thing. Um, there's plenty of mailboxes throughout wherever you are. If you are in space you can access the Azura and the SS Azura too and you can also send your mail through there and I do believe you can send items through there as well. Um, but here would be like a quick little if you sell something on the exchange or whatever you can you can still access it no matter where you are uh, but to actually send items you need to be in a mailbox. Inventory, quick hotkey is I, or the little button there. It's going to show all your open slots uh, if you want to buy more slots because they don't have set different bags that you can have. Um, this is the only bag you get, so if you hoard a lot of things and you need more space, the only other option to get more space is to actually use real money to buy more slots in the game. Um, I've been okay with the amount that they have on here. I think there's a lot of slots for bags, um, but there's always that other option. From here, you can also see your money or your assets, which show your energy credits, which are a main currency in the game. There's several currencies, but uh, this one's kind of like your main one, uh, where your energy credits will show how much you have. Next are your reputation marks, your fleet assets, which would be fleet credits that you would get from your fleet, and fleet marks that you also earn for dailies, um, and for PvP events. Your dilithium is also a form of currency, and it is something that you can actually um, do, I guess, a, almost like a craft, kind of like mining. Um, but what ore you get is not good to use for trading for, uh, for, not skills, um, equipment or weapons, things like that. You actually have to refine it. Um, after you get your ore, you're just going to hit the refine to lithium. It'll already change for you to where you can actually use it. You are limited to only an 8,000 dilithium to refine a day. There's your character status. The hotkey is you. That'll bring up all your character, your bridge officers, your ship, and your inventory as well. Um, it's going to give all your basic stats. It doesn't really go too much into detail as far as how much damage you are doing or anything like that. Not like WoW does. Um, but I'll have your, here's your character. Um, your kits that you'll get, body armor, shields, weapons, your devices you can carry. Then you'll have your skills that you get to level up. You use skill points to level... No, no, no. Let's see. No, that's right. You use skill points to level up yourself. 
which will be down here under ground skills. Um, as you get them, these will light up for you to use. You can click in here or here to how far you want to upgrade it to if you have the amount available and you would hit accept. Um, for bridge officers, which I don't have here, I'll have to show you on a, another one um, on my other character where you can actually see bridge officers and how I've leveled some stuff up. Um, if a bridge officer was here, it would take you to their little skill thing. Um, and their skills are upgraded with expertise points. Um, so when you do missions, you get expertise and skill points. So that's what they're used for because they don't directly tell you what they're for. And I know I've done it. Um, Justin's done it. We've just been giving away expertise points pretty much. Um, not knowing what they were for, but now that we know, we can use them a little bit better. Now your traits are not necessarily uh, things that you will use. Some of them are passive. They kind of give you a little detail on what your character can do, and if you know kind of about how you're wanting to play your character, some are good. Um, like increased hull repair might be something you want to go for if you like increased defense. For someone for offense, may go for more of the covert and creative, um, but they each have your ground tactics and your space tactics. You can respec once for free if you have a respec token. Um, other than that, I think you have to pay for those as well. But they already have some in for you as a default, and as you level up, you'll get more slots to put your uh, choosing of traits that you want to put in. Stations will show what stations you have on your ship when you're actually in it. Um, you'll get to choose, once you have your bridge officers, where you want to put them. And you can set your standard away team, so that way if you're not in a team, you can have who you want uh, on your away team if you particularly don't want to use your science officer for uh, an away mission, and you want to use only tactical bridge officers that you got, you can set that here. This will also show the highlighted ones will be the ones that are available whenever you're on your ship. If it's hidden in the gray, that means it's not going to show up when you're in flight. Um, it may be available for them to use, however, the type of ship that you have depends on how many stations they have and how high on the rank that they can go. The reputation tab will show any events that are going on. Um, the last one was the four year anniversary. Um, where you got accumulations. This would be where you would go to contribute your stuff for it to get really awesome items or ships. Um, but here, right now, there's nothing going on. If something is to going to be going on to where you can get stuff like that, they would show up here for you to get.
Alright, for now I'm going to swap over to the other character to be able to show some other things um, that you can see on a character that has stuff available to it rather than just beginning.